Today I'm just going to go over what a galvanic cell is and why it looks this way. So I'm going to save a sample problem um, on that for later. So here we have a galvanic cell with zinc and copper. So these are the strips of metal and they're going to be connected by a wire. In the middle here where it says NaNO3, NaNO3 is what we call a salt bridge. Okay, and I'll explain what this is for later. So it says here that zinc is going to go into zinc ions and two electrons. Over here we have copper ions plus electrons yields solid copper. So what this is telling us is that zinc is losing electrons because it's splitting into um, ions and electrons. So since zinc is losing electrons, it's going to be oxidized. So this is telling us that copper is going to be reduced because it's gaining electrons. Now, we need to remember this um, little trick to remember what each thing is. Anox red cat. So anox tells us that oxidation occurs at the anode. So this will be the anode. And red cat tells us that um, re reduction takes place at the cathode. So cathode is over here. So the current or the way that electrons are going to be flowing is this way from the zinc to the copper because oxidation is when you're losing electrons. Reduction is when you're gaining electrons. So the electrons are going to be flowing this way through the metal wire because zinc is losing them and copper is gaining them. So this is going to create a buildup of charges because zinc is losing electrons so it's going to become more positive on this side. Meanwhile over here it's going to become more and more negative and we don't want that. So what we do is we put a salt bridge in to balance out the charges that build up. So NO3- minus is going to go to this side and Na plus is going to go over to this side because we have a positive build up here which means that more negative ions should move to this side. Meanwhile, positive sodium ions should move over to that side. There's also this thing called cell potential, which is denoted E sub cell. And we put a little circle on top to denote the standard cell potential. And that's going to be um, positive when it's thermodynamically favorable. 